How's it going everybody? I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, today's video I'm going to be doing is about my 2020 Comeback Fighter of the Year. And in my opinion that award goes to Errol Spence Jr. who successfully came back to the ring after being involved in a serious car crash towards the end of last year where he rolled his car. I believe he was thrown right out of the car when it was rolling. Uh, the video footage is out there on YouTube. You can find pictures of him on the internet, see how badly he looked after the car crash. It was uh, a potential career-ending uh, incident. And there were many people out there saying that he would never be the same and his career was possibly over. Now, towards the end of this year, and the back end of this year, he had his uh, comeback fight, which was against Danny Garcia. And in my opinion, even if he had just stepped back into the ring against, you know, a journeyman or somebody that wasn't really, you know, one of the top 10 welterweights, even if it was a guy that was, you know, top 50 or whatever, and he had got back in the ring against a guy in the top 50, in my opinion, he would have been comeback fighter of the year because I think he suffered the, you know, the worst injuries um, out of any other fighter in the sport. So if he had just got back in the ring against anybody, he would have won comeback fighter of the year, in my opinion. But not only did he just get back in the ring, he got back in the ring against one of the top 10 welterweights in, in Danny Garcia. And he also won the fight. So it's a very impressive comeback, in my opinion. He boxed well. He boxed, uh, you know, pretty disciplined behind the jab. And he, he managed to win a pretty comfortable unanimous decision. Uh, against Danny Garcia, he looked pretty good uh, I th going into the fight because I, I figured he was 100% due to what I'd heard about his sparring and I, I knew they wouldn't be putting him in there and risking uh, his career against Danny Garcia if he wasn't 100%. So he obviously managed to uh, rehab his way back to 100% or near 100%, which is extremely impressive. And then he went in there, he put on a, you know, extremely impressive performance against one of the top 10 welterweights in the division, won a comfortable unanimous decision against Danny Garcia. In my opinion, that definitely earns him 2020 comeback fighter of the year and sets up a big 2021 for him where we could hopefully finally see him and Terence Crawford fight or him and Manny Pacquiao. Now there's rumors he might go up and fight Canelo Alvarez. Uh, I don't think that would be a good move for him, in my opinion. Fighting Canelo Alvarez, I don't think that'd be a good opinion. I mean, a good option for him. I don't think, you know, I don't think he wins that fight. Uh, I think Canelo's too big and too skilled for him. In my opinion, if you're going to be the smaller man against Canelo Alvarez, you need to have, you know, extremely good reflexes, such as a Floyd Mayweather. And I don't think Earl Spence is on that level. But anyways, you know, it sets up a very big 2021 for Earl Spence. I'm hopeful we get to see him fight, you know, Terence Crawford or even Manny Pacquiao, who's still uh, at the top of the sport. So, yeah, guys, uh, what do you think? Do you agree who uh, that Earl Spence was the 2020 comeback fighter of the year? Or do you have somebody else in mind that I'm forgetting about? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Who do you want to see Earl Spence fight next year? Uh, and, uh, yeah, guys, thanks for listening to the video. Talk to you guys soon.